Alright guys, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to be talking to you guys about logic operators. So, what the heck is a logic operator? What it is, is it's basically a way to make a test in R. So what we can do in this programming language is we can ask R, or ask our computer, very simple questions, and it can either answer true or false. So let me show you guys what I'm talking about. And this is actually probably going to be a real quick tutorial while I go over the slightly different logical operators. So the first thing we can do is we can use a double equal sign. And what this can do is we can say something like five equals equals seven. And in everyday language, this is basically asking your computer, hey, is five equal to seven? Remember, you have to use two equal signs because one equal sign was whenever you're assigning values to variables. So the double equal sign means you're making a test. And of course, if you run this, it says false. Five is not equal to seven, you idiot. Five is equal to five. And actually, if we put, excuse me, five equals equals five and run this, it says true. So five equals seven, false. Is five equal to five, true, which is basically the same thing as yes. Now, Aside from testing if two values are equal to each other, there's also a test to see if they're unequal. I think that's how you say it. So is 12 not equal to 14? So this is gonna be true with everything except 12. And actually, I'll just do this right now. Is 12 not equal to 12? Let me go ahead and run these. All right, so is 12 not equal to 14? It isn't equal to 14, so it's true. Is 12 not equal to 12? Actually, yes it is, so this test is false. So again, equals equals checks if they're the same, and not equals returns true if they're different. Now, I know this is kind of basic stuff, but this is actually one of the most important things whenever you're making programs. And the last thing I wanna cover is just the less than and greater than signs. So you can do something like is delete this accidentally type down there ticking me off all right so you can do something like is 45 less than 83 and this of course is going to return true because it is now you can also use the greater than sign and one other thing that may not be that intuitive is actually the less than equals than sign so if you test something like a seven less than seven it's going to be false but if you do a seven less than or equal to seven, what this is gonna do is it's gonna return true because even though seven isn't less than seven, it is equal to. So again, the less than equal to, that's what that test. So let me go ahead and run this. And as you can see, we have true. Now, actually, I have one more thing I wanna talk about. And that is that even though um, we're testing with numbers right there. We aren't just limited to numbers or numerical data. We can also do the same thing with text as well. So, wow, I keep typing down my console. So we can test, is the word Bucky equal to the word ham? That's gonna be false, but if we do something like, is Bucky equal to the word Bucky? That's gonna be true. So is Bucky equal to ham? No false. Is Bucky equal to Bucky? Yes, that's why it's true. So again, remember, equals equals to test if they're the same, exclamation mark, or explanate, no, it's exclamation mark, equals to test if they're different, less than, greater than, less than, or equal to, and you can also do this with words or characters. So I know this is uh, some pretty basic stuff, but for those people just getting started with programming, trust me, you're gonna be seeing this a whole lot. So, you know, it's better to uh, get it down in your brain right now before we move on to some more complex stuff. So thanks for watching. And then next time, we're actually gonna be uh, learning about something a lot more complicated, but a lot more fun than this.